Hello, 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 hello. Hey everyone, Sir Jellybean here. We are back with some Court Arms Gates FL Osfront. And once again, I'm joined by the amazing Spider Ghost. And we are here on a 2v2v, not 2v2 map, shall I say. Fighting against um, the Americans, I believe. And as you can see, we're actually spawned on the other side for once, because normally we spawn on the other side of the map, just switched it up a bit. And you're going to see some pretty damn good fighting and combat. So I'm playing as the Finns. They've become my recent kind of favourite faction because they're a bit weird. Tyler is the Germans, as always. He's a good player. And as you can see, we're being quite aggressive early on. Uh, I've got infantry on the way to the centre. I think I sent the bicycle, <laughs> a one man on his bicycle, up to the northwest. Just have a bit of coffee. And it's a really cool match, this. So Tyler, straight away, as always, goes for kind of the back points. He's fantastic at this strategy. Go check out his channel, Smiley Ghost. I'll link it in. Definitely go watch. And watch this battle from his perspective, because you will, I didn't realise how much of an absolute chaotic fight he was having down on the southeast. There's some crazy carnage up there. So I'm sending individual troops, especially SMG troops, up, up to the points to really be aggressive, really get in there. The bikes capped in the northwest point, which is funny. They basically ignored it. And as you can see, they go very heavy on the center. So we've got the ambush straight out, SMG firing. We're chucking anti-tank satchels, grenades. We're just chucking everything I can get and taking out these individual soldiers. And as you can see, some nice little kills here and there because he's not really paying too much attention. And the idea is just to cause chaos and break up because it's not even about killing that many. If you can break up with enough infantry, he's not going to have enough to take the point. And as you can see, SMG troops just absolutely causing carnage. It's glorious. They are trying to chuck frags back, I believe. We do get a few more shots off and I start being a bit more aggressive. But the centre's capped. Tyler's capped the back cap. Both flanks are getting captured, which is going to give us a quad cap. And we're just going for the more kills, more infantry dying. And these are actually military police, so not too expensive, but still, it's people killed, it's time wasted. That's what it's all about, basically. SMG. Lots of hits there, but not too much damage. But we're just trying to trying to keep him busy. I'm getting a bit killed here, a bit damaged. But he's taking losses, he's taking hits. And there's another kill, and I think this is where the guy gets me at. So he does take me out, but lots of bodies hitting the floor. So we're already on three points, as you can see. We're doing pretty amazing, especially Smiley Ghost down there. He's got a big combat going on. That's why I definitely need to watch his perspective. He's tying them up. And there we go, there comes the jeep with the MG, but we're doing okay, we're dug in, and the quad cap is about to happen, as you can see our points are shooting up against theirs, I go straight for the T26E, this thing's become a lower favourite of mine, I do plan on bringing it down to a Smiley here, but he's got the half track, and he's just absolutely butchering him, you'll start seeing the kill feed will start stacking up soon, and I've got more infantry on the way, the Finns definitely have some good infantry troops, and even though that vehicle's pinning us down a bit, it's not doing too much damage. It can't come too close because it's so lightly armoured. But, the, you know, we're putting a lot of pressure on them. They're now trying to fight back the centre, which they're doing a pretty good job. They're actually putting some pressure on. We are taking a few losses here and there. That Jeep has been a pain in the arse. But we are doing some kills. And as you can see, the guys are running out into the, the open. We can just keep putting pressure on them, keep putting damage on them, and keep being aggressive. That's the main thing. I'm basically going to cut through the houses or cut close and we get cut down. But spreading my troops out so they don't get fragged back is the main thing. And I'm just trying to, as I said, cause effing chaos. Pardon me, French. <laughs> but cause as much chaos as possible. And there we go. He, he gets shot, but the grenade does go off, I believe. Don't know if it kills him, but still causes a bit of damage. And we do start losing quite a few bodies down there. T26E did come down, but Smiley has secured it. So then I think, right, I'll bring him up the road. I'll bring the armoured support to the centre. And as you can see, they've still got control of the centre. They're having to feed a lot of resources in. They've not touched the northwest point, which to be fair, I have an eye on the bike holding it. So if they'd actually put some pressure up there, we'd have lost it. But they were so fixated on basically the flanks down with Tyler, Smiley, shall I say, and retaking the centre because they were annoyed that they lost it. So now they are killing quite a few of my troops. The rifle squads are doing some damage. And I keep thinking, right, what's next? The old 17 centimetre mine warfare comes in. Now, this thing is God tier. It's become a favourite special calling. And now I decide to finally get some infantry when I get the points to basically reinforce the top point. The centre starts getting a lot of pressure on it, I do admit. 
But this is where the bait comes in. It's kind of like a battle of Cannae with the, the Mason, uh, not the Masons, the Carthaginians and the Romans. Me and Smiley have got the flank secured. They can take the centre. We're just collapsing on them. They're losing so many troops and so much resources to the centre that it makes the kind of makes it untenable for them to push and actually hold. And it's not a very smart idea on their part. So the tank comes in, a bit risky up here. Not too much infantry support, but I just being brave and I realise, oh Christ. And there's the panic, run back. Get the MGs ready to suppress just in case they try and frag me. So now I start spamming grenades over the wall. Old grenade tennis stuff happens. And there's one to the left there, and I think, oh, if he'd had a frag, he would have got me. And there you go, HE round straight through him. And then we start pulling back. Now, I do notice a tank over there, but he zooms away because he's a little bugger. Yeah, maybe way too quick for me. So I've got to direct control this tank away from here, just in case. And he does start to make some moves. I notice one running at the wall. So I start spraying, just in case. I start firing rounds, just to stop him over running us. Get some infantry up there as well. But the mine worth is now moving up. I drive straight through the wall with it, as you do. <laughs> just carnage. We just unload the mine worth here. The mine worth has not got the best range, but if that thing hits, it just decimates. So veteran Jaeger squad there coming up to the top because they've also got anti tank, and the middle point is still capped. You see, we're over double their points now, so they are in some trouble. But I do need more infantry on the centre for sure. A bit too much micro work, kind of confusing me. T twenty six E's only better than this. I put it in the bad spot. I should have gone straight to the centre with it, but I think there was some AT, and then the mine worth starts firing. And look at that, <laughs> just decimation. The mine worker just starts demolishing, and they know now. Like there's a lot of them stacked in buildings, but they can't do much against that mine worker unless they push. They haven't got enough resources and troops to push us. Smiley secured the southeast. It's completely locked down. They're feeding points into them, and we're now trying to take the church. Now the church seems to be nearly indestructible, unfortunately. A lot of the troops survive, but the round does hit pretty close. And the thing about the mine worth, it's just about clearing out large amounts. So we're going after the vehicle now. And we're just trying to cause as much chaos as possible in the centre. Cut down. We've got the points to you know, risk some things now. We can be aggressive. We're just going to play for the objectives. And there we go. And the round doesn't even go in. You think, Jesus Christ. And just putting the pressure back on to try and take out this uh, vehicle. And we do take it. And then we completely wreck it. We've done some good damage there. The tank's already paid for itself. But then, Bazooka does take us. Mine worth is just... <laughs> Demolishing stuff. So another rifle squad coming up. We are losing the centre point, but as I say, point wise, we are very far ahead. And he's actually bazooka an infantryman there, which is a little bit over the top. I'm just going for it now. I'm like, right, whoever bazooka me deserves to die. I know he's, he was there somewhere. And I'm getting shot, and I do get taken down. M1 Garand being just too good. And I get the infantry out there and start kind of setting up a bit of defences around the mine worker because. If they'd pushed it this time, they could have took the mine worth it, to be fair. I did forget to spread these troops out, which is my bad. I do get a bit too uh, focused on things. But we do spread these out, and I start thinking, right, well, I can start pushing up to the top as well, if need be. And the infantry does start to come a bit closer, but they've lost too many. Like, they are low on troops, they're low on vehicles. And Smiley's building up as well. The rifle squad. And as I'm saying, they're feeding troops into the centre. It's just losses, just continuous losses for them. And we've got troops all over the place. We can just cause carnage. And now I decide to push from the top. I take some of the troops, not too many. Four guys, but they are, and I'm like, right, I'm going to start putting pressure on the, the back point. I'm going to try and uh, engage. And the mine worker is just going to keep kicking rounds out, trying to destroy the church. And we are getting the odd rounds shot down. We are putting rounds down there. But mine worth his job is just to keep lacing rounds on the enemy points. Keep killing those troops. Because they can't push up in force either. Because if they do, the mine worth, there's a risk the mine worth just deletes entire squads. The church, this should actually kill him. I think it hits, but it doesn't look. That should have killed both of them. But it does nothing. So there is a bit of all crap terrain stuff there. But um, it's still doing well. And they do have troops up there. They are being quite defensive, which is smart. 
So we start trying to move up and we just keep pressure on in the center. And basically just keep dropping rounds on. Let him feed the troops in. Those two points aren't as important. We're well ahead on the point caps things. And more mine rounds come in. And there we go. That's a good hit. Get some good kills. And you must start scaring him off a little bit as well. Because I think he starts realizing like, if I keep feeding my troops into the center. And now the supply trucks come in. The mine wave will keep firing. And then up here we put some pressure on. I'll do some direct control now. Not my best moments. But the idea is we just keep being aggressive. So right now we basically go for just harassing and causing chaos. But we're really far ahead point-wise. To be fair to them, they stayed in the match. They didn't just rage quit or anything. I don't think anyway. And then I just keep chucking grenades. Try and start prepping for the assault. I was I overcooked these grenades. Like oh, they, I threw them too far. And I get a bit salty here because I just get sniped pretty much instantly. The SMG should have killed him. Rounds to the face, but here's what it is. And there you go. The elite troops with the bolt actions just took him. So the church is like some weird terrain where the mine where for you to be hits half of the time doesn't kill them. I'm keeping the pressure on. That's the idea. And there we go. That's the hit I needed. Now the church is definitely feeling the pain. Down there, Smiley's got a big contact. We're trying to get close here. The AI's been a bit stupid at times. And the grenade does go up. And then I decide to cook one, I think I do. Cook the grenade. And it actually blew up in his hand. <laughs> and I try and get another one out here. But the AI, once again, being a pain. Cook to that one. I'll try and get all three of them. And there we go. We get some good kills. So even though they do push us back, they've lost infantry. And all they've got left is like a jeep up there. And as you can see, the centre goes a bit quiet. Because all of a sudden now they realise they've got to defend the back. So there's not much choice wise we can bring. We're quite stacked up. Mine worth. I'll just keep thinking right. Keep putting the pressure on. Keep being aggressive. And the mine worth is just tearing chunks out of the centre. So I'm just trying to completely blast every bit of cover that they can use. And there another round goes out. Boom. <laughs> One guy completely annihilated. I love the kind of mushroom cloud it leaves like a mini nuke. And once again, contacts are heavy. Brutality on all sides, which I absolutely adore. And yeah, just it was a fantastic play by Smiley. Really well held on the southeast. The northwest had very little attention, and I once again get concerned with the centre because I always get a bit obsessed with the centre. But the mine were for being the hero of this, my forces, just causing chaos. And there's Smiley with his uh, the 15 mil half track, and he's literally just annihilating everything, which is just insane. He's just causing chaos. I do think he gets taken out a bit, but he does some major damage. And the flame tank's on the way now as well to try and burn them out. And now I start targeting the buildings of the mine worker because that's where they're hiding. I think, right, we can really dislodge them now. Because if we can start completely demolishing these, and as you can see, one hit, but it doesn't do much to the buildings. They definitely need to work on the building destructions affecting infantry. But it does start causing a bit of panic. We get an officer so we can bring more stuff. And yeah, they kind of know I think that it's over at this point. And I end up going with a, I think I bring a T28E, yeah. So just bringing as much armor as I can. To basically overwhelm them in the centre. And Finland is filthy with the mine worth. The mine worth alone is worth it. The fact that you can get it in the first call in the specials. Which is great. And that round drops perfectly. Wiping him out. I just love the terrain destruction. It's great. Flame tank's on his way. He's a little beast. But yeah, if they'd, if they'd pushed the northwest, they could have trip capped us. But they just... They don't. It's very odd to me. So they're trying to get back in that vehicle. So I start trying to put some mine worth rounds down the street. At least cut cause some chaos. Round goes down. I think this one's a bit off though. Yeah, definitely off. And just takes out the building. Flame tank arrives and I decide to take over. It's got pretty good range to be fair. So I'm like, right, let's just start nuking things. Let's just torch everything. Let's torch all the troops in there. Let's torch the buildings. And look at that. And look at that fire. Just burn them out. I think it's more the T28 doing damage, but we're scaring them off. Scaring them off is good enough. We are getting shot at, which is a pain in the ass. But the flame tank now is just here to cause chaos. Mine were for there. I don't know how that bazooka survived. T28 
T28 starts pushing up as well. We're just sending them in, it doesn't matter. And then we get the veteran Jaeger squad to come and join. T28 just on, on the mission now to kill. And we know that there's the armoured vehicle there. Hard to actually get a good line of sight there. And then I go for the mine worth a shot, see if I can. He just fired. And the round goes in. Boom. Hitting over there again, taking out the cover. And they're actually capturing the point back, so they've got nothing left on it. And we, we know it's over, basically. We, so this is why the um, KV is getting put up as well. But now the aggression's being put on. And there we go. The MA is not going to survive very long. And then we just... I like the two little machine guns on this. Fantastic for cutting infantry down. So it just gets super aggressive now. It doesn't matter even if we lose it. And there we go. Some rounds do ping up against us. And it does have quite a bit of damage, actually. I mean, quite good shots from the side. So I'm not too bothered about losing that, to be fair. And there we go. Mine worth is firing again, I think. Mine worth just keeps smashing the targets. And they've got no chance of retaking. They are quad cap still. They're trying to feed troops in, and some armor does start turning up. See if we can hit the infantry squad. See if the siege mortar can actually hit. And it does drop a bit low there. It's a shame. But the T28 is tearing into him. The KV's there as well to join some fire on the buildings. Mine worth is reloading, which is great. And we're trying to hit the Sherman with it as well. <laughs> if we can hit the Sherman with it, I'd be pretty pretty happy to be fair. Bomb 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 fire. Shoot. And round comes out. And it does, I think it's a bit, yeah, to the side once again. KV though is not scared of the Sherman much because it's just so tough. I just roll it forward and think, right, time to pump some round into the old Sherman. You can see him there. We do get a shot against us. And there it finishes. And as you can see, we get 111 kills. And they played very well. Very, very good match. Very, very good. And yeah, I just got to say respect to Smiley Ghost as always and to JSP and Patrick. Well done for staying to the end. It was an absolutely awesome match, an absolute pleasure. And I would love to play with you guys again. So if you do watch the channel, send us a comment, send us a like or an invite. We'd love to have a rematch because that was possibly one of the coolest matches we've played in a long time. Massive respect to you. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it, everyone. Thanks for watching. And you guys have a fantastic evening.